uh, urinary system. So we've got kidney here where urine is formed and then we have that tube, the ureter, that uh, would connect to the urinary bladder. On the other side we have cut it so we can pull this over here, but there would be two ureters connected to the urinary bladder and then a single urethra which would take the urine to the exit. So that's urinary bladder, this is urethra. Now we're going to do the reproductive structures. Oh. All right, so there, uh, a cat, just like a lot of mammals, they have a litter of, of offspring at a time. So they they need a much larger uterus, with, uh, allowing for multiple spots for implantation. So the uterus itself is Y-shaped. Um, so what we see here, that little tiny thing is the ovary. Then there's a little tube around the ovary, and that can be called the oviduct. That's sort of the non-human name we give it. In the human, we call them fallopian tubes or uterine tubes. But that is the ovary and then the oviduct. And then this right here, and same on the other side, these are actually parts of the uterus. And these are called uterine horns. They both connect to the body of the uterus here. So here I would just, if I labeled you know, had a pin here, you would just say uterus, but if I labeled one of these branches of the uterus, you would say a uterine horn. Again, this is ovary, and up here, oviduct. So you can see that on both both sides. So the how would you separate, oh, sorry. sorry. No, go ahead, Ron. I was just going to ask, how would you separate the ovaries and oviduct on the test? You'll be able to tell if I have the pin in the ovary itself or if I have the pin in the, the oviduct. And if okay. it's hard for you to see that, then ask me to come over and clarify. I can verbally or with my pointer say name this thing or name name this okay and then so the outside it. part is over the the u yeah. okay the urogenital sinus okay we're going to get there okay. so th this is all uterus here the uterine horns and the uterus you got it. Um, so similar to the male tract in the female cat the urinary system and the reproductive systems connect so there is a single exit for um, all material here so the uh, urethra, this is uterus, this portion here is the vagina, Okay. and where the urethra and the vagina come together, this cavity here, which I actually cut into, this space is a tube-like space, it's an enlarged tube, and so it's called the urogenital sinus. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if we follow the female reproductive tract up, we start with urogenital sinus, and then we get to this tube here, the vagina, which leads us to the uterus, the uterine horns. We have the oviducts, those tubes, and then the ovary. So That's it. That is so tiny. Yeah, it's not very big in it. Non-pregnant. That's an average size. They would be, yeah, three, three. Now we've, if we don't have any pregnant female cats, but if you, they just get huge during pregnancy, just like a female, you know, human, right. tiny, <laughs> tiny. It's always, it's always smaller than what I expect. I got to dissect a, a female, an elderly female cadaver that um, still had her reproductive system intact. Um, it was way smaller than I expected it to be. In a human? <laughs> In a human, yeah. Well, but, I mean, in the elderly, doesn't it shrink? It does. It does a little bit. You just It's not even common to see it just because people of that generation, a lot of them have, have hysterectomies and things. So it was pretty cool just to get to see it. But, yeah, it was still smaller than I expected. Interesting. Yeah. But, yeah, 